Welcome to the Knitting Nursing Student Podcast. My name is Jasmine and today is Wednesday, November 11th, I think. I'm pretty sure today's the 11th. Um, so today I have a few big things to show you guys. Last week I didn't film because uh, something came up. Um, long story short, I tested positive for COVID. Um, I'm fine. I've been in quarantine and isolation. I'm like in the middle of my second week, so I should be released on Friday. Um, Friday the 13th, I think. So I'm starting to feel better, which is why I'm able to film today. Last Wednesday, I was like dying. It was horrible. I felt awful. There was no way I was going to film. There was no way I was going to get through like any amount of time without like losing my breath or like just breaking down into a fit of coughing. It was horrible. Um, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. So I really hope you guys are staying safe out there and wearing your masks and social distancing and everything because this was not a fun experience. Um, I do have some big news, so if you guys might recognize this sweater. Um, I finally finished my Autumn League Pullover. This is the first sweater that I've ever knit. Um, and I kept the Progress Keeper on there because I wanted you guys to see how much I actually got done in two weeks. Um, it's like completely finished. All the ends are woven in. I haven't blocked it because I usually don't block like, um... It's like pretty oversized, so I didn't really feel the need to block it. Um, I knit it in <clears throat> the Lion Brand uh, Comfy Cotton Blend yarn in the colorway Lovey Dovey um, number 720. Um, I used like three and like like this much, like a little bit extra. So like three and some change of like these cakes, these 200 gram cakes. They are uh, 392 yards each. So there's not a lot of yardage for as much the, as is in there. So it's like some pretty dense yarn. But um, this took more yarn than I was expecting. I did actually end up buying um, two of these so I have two like of these cakes one and a half of these cakes basically left um, in like ever so slightly different colorways. so if I am going to make something with both of them I will have to knit um, helically or like with alternating um, rows so just having both um, cakes of yarn attached to my work at all times um, I did knit like the biggest size of this and like it's pretty it's pretty evident this thing is huge I do kind of wish I had made the body longer um, it stops like right at my hips and the sleeves like I don't know if you guys can tell but these sleeves are so long I think if I am going to knit this again I will cut the sleeves down maybe like an inch or two because these are really long they're like kind of obnoxious <laughs> um, either that or I'll just go down a size and kind of um, be a little bit better at trying on as I go because I didn't even though I knit this top down um, raglan I didn't try it on as I went as much as I probably should have um, I kind of just knit the pattern like in its entirety trying it on like every so often um, like once the body was done I tried it on and I tried on um, I tried it on again after I finished one of the sleeves and that's when I realized it was too long but I had already casted the sleeve off and I really didn't feel like undoing the bind off and like ripping back the knitting the ribbing and everything to cut back like a couple like an inch or two so um, I'm just gonna have long sleeves on this sweater so since I finished this sweater um, I have a couple of new starts to show you guys. 
Um, I didn't start any socks over these past two weeks because I just didn't really feel like it. I think I've just been on a big sweater kick lately. Um, so <clears throat> I started knitting with my Audine wools in haze and then this um, Diablo mohair from uh, Hobby. And this is how much I have done. This is the, oh, what is it called? Southwood. This is the Southwood sweater. Um, it's knit with like DK weight, like I think it's cotton blend yarn um, and mohair held double. So it's super lightweight. It is super lightweight. Um, these are on size eight needles. And this is like kind of what the fabric looks like. So it's really nice. I love this. I cannot wait to wear it. Um, my only issue is that because it's mohair, um, I am like having a little bit of trouble knitting it. Not because it's like hard to knit, but because I have allergies. And um, sometimes if I'm talking and knitting at the same time, I will like sort of like inhale or some of the like stray mohair fuzz will get into my mouth and I'll have to like pick it out it's really gross and it's just a little annoying to knit for too long because the mohair kind of just gets everywhere and I usually knit um, I've been knitting during my lectures because I've been attending them remotely since I'm quarantined <clears throat> so <clears throat> so the mohair has been getting like all over my computer keyboard and have to blow it all off and it's just a mess. I've been doing like everything in my bed for the past two weeks. Um, I also casted on another sweater but I think actually I'll tell you guys like what after I show you. So I started I get casted on um, the Autumn League pullover again, but in different yarn and different colors. This is going to be like a block striped sweater. Um, I like just started the yoke. This is not a lot of progress at all. This is like maybe a couple of days worth of knitting. But um, I think I'm going to end up ripping it back. Oh, this is knit in... Ooh, I will have to... I don't remember, but it's like mercerized cotton yarn it's like a little scratchy um i bought it off of yarn.com from webs and the description said that it could be used for like all kinds of things and it's cotton so i'm like oh like it'll probably be soft and kind of like way and easy to work with but this is like kind of scratchy the fabric the wrong side of the fabric especially is like um not the softest so i'm hoping i can wash it um in some fabric softener or add like some fabric conditioner, like no rinse fabric conditioner to it to see if that'll help um, once I'm finished. But <clears throat> the inspiration for this sweater, let me actually grab the other colors that I'm going to be using. So um, this is, so I have the, I've already started with the green, which is on top, the first stripe. And then the second stripe is white. And then the last one is this pink. Um, and then the ribbing, so like the cuffs, are going to be this navy blue. Um, and I kind of got like this idea to make this sweater because I designed this like block sweater in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, and I'll show you guys the like screenshot that I took as um, my reference. And I loved the sweater i wore this sweater in the game for weeks and i in animal crossing i tend to change my outfit like whenever i buy new clothes basically i change my outfit like pretty regularly in the game and i really loved the sweater it's like i felt like it was so me it was so fun i loved the colors i'm not really great at matching colors so i was really proud of myself for doing that and I wanted to like make the sweater in real life. I'm like, why can't I was like, you know, I love this sweater and I could just buy it because I'm sure like you can just buy a sweater like that. It's a pretty basic looking sweater. But I was like, well, like I know how to knit and I think that it'll be fun if I made the sweater myself. 
so I went on webs and I bought the yarn for it and um, I had it for a while I have this really bad habit of like caking up my yarn as soon as I get it even if I don't plan on using it soon and I have since stopped that in the past um, like month or so <clears throat> but um, but these like not before I got uh, these which is why they're already caked up um, and at first I found I couldn't find a pattern for a three stripe sweater I could only find four or five stripes so I found a four stripe pattern that I was going to use and I bought the yarn for it um, and I was just going to put like this navy on the bottom as like the last stripe but then I realized that I should just like and I should just make the sweater as I designed it because it's my sweater and I kind of came to the realization that if I didn't make it the way that I wanted to that I wasn't going to be 100% happy with it and I did not want to waste my money and my time on something that I was not going to love or be 100% satisfied with because I didn't want a four stripe sweater with the navy blue on the bottom I wanted a three stripe sweater with the navy blue as the ribbing. So I completely scrapped that idea. Um, I didn't cast on the sweater or anything. I just had the pattern in my Ravelry library. So I just completely scrapped it and I did a little bit of math and I um, calculated how many rows I would need for each stripe in the Autumn League pullover. And I casted it on and I started it and then I kind of thought about it more and I was looking at this sweater actually because as you guys can see the armpits are really like my actual armpit is up here the armpits are really low on this um and I wanted the top stripe to come like below the armpit seam <clears throat> and that was not going to be possible with the autumn league pullover unless I made it super long and I know I wanted to make it longer um, and the sleeves would be shorter, so I guess, like, they would be, they would stop closer to, like, the same length. But I didn't want the sweater itself to be as long as the sleeves, because I have a, I had a sweater like that, and I didn't really like how it fit me, because I am, like, a little more bottom heavy, and, um, it's a boxy sweater, and I didn't want to have to deal with, like, doing even more math with increases, to see like how I would shape it with like some A-line shaping if it was going to be that long. So that is when I stopped knitting it and I kind of put it to the side. Um, I'm going to like rewind the yarn that's already knit up and um, see if I can find like a another like basic worsted or DK weight um, sweater pattern that I can use for it where I can still like where the math will add up and the design will look like I want it to look. Um, I have found the brick sweater. I will have to like change the needle sizing and do a little bit of math with that um, because I can't really find like just a raglan calculator or like a raglan pattern generator or anything like that. Um, at least not one that's like currently working. A lot of them that I have found are have since been deleted from like the Play Store or the website just is not there anymore. Um, which really sucks because that would be super useful. I would use it all the time and just do like different um color work designs as I work the yoke. Um and I think what I'm going to do because I want the stripes to be more or less even because this has, um, let me show you. So as you guys can see, this has like a short row yoke, like the first, um, like 16 or 17 rows are knit back and forth. And then you cast on the front neck and join, you like cast on the front neck and then you join in the round and you knit like, um, the rest of it in the round. And you just like knit the yoke and raglan increases that way um and like that's just how this is knit and i had to like kind of adjust it so that the sleeves were even in the front and not 
just in the back um, because obviously like the the back is longer than the front so there would be so like the stripes would look longer from the back but from the front I wanted them to be even and for the Southwood sweater I think that's what I'm going to do I think I'm going to finish this Southwood sweater and um when I'm finished with it I'm going to reuse the pattern for my Animal Crossing sweater um because that sweater has a circular yoke Either that or I can just find another um, knitting pattern. Usually color work patterns are really good at like having a nice even circular yoke. Um, so I will look at that and just like toss out the color work for it and just like knit my solid colors with the circular yoke. Because that is honestly exactly what I'm looking for. And also I need higher armpits. <laughs> That's like my biggest issue but the southwood i think would be a really great um pattern for that i could probably knit it in like a smaller size because the purple one that i'm working on is the large size um and i'm not 100 percent sure how much yarn i'm going to need for it i'll have to like do a little i'll have to do more math Ugh. no one ever told me that Knitting would require as much math as it does, especially when you are knitting like full garments like this. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but um, that's like all of the like big things that I have. Um, I do have plans for this yarn. So since I have like so much of it left, I think I am going to do the crazy cat lady thing and I am going to make a matching sweater for my cat um I don't know if the color will look great on her she because she's a torty and I feel like I would want to dress her in like gray or like solid colors as opposed to like kind of a variegation like this um but whatever we'll we'll be matching it'll be so cute um, my cat's name is Amaretto Sour. She's named after the drink and she is perfect in every way. I love her so much. She's not like here in the room because she is really annoying when I am filming. <clears throat> um, as you probably would have noticed in the last episode, she was in the room in the last episode, but I had a lot of trouble like keeping her like from knocking over my camera because I use my phone to film and it's like on my windowsill and she likes to jump up on the windowsill and look out the window but I couldn't have her like like exploring and getting in the way while I was filming if that makes sense so now she's outside the room she's like putting her hands underneath the door as we speak I can hear her I don't know if you guys can but yeah um I think I'm going to make a matching sweater for her uh, I just need to find a pattern and like attempt to take some measurements on her because she likes to like chew on my measuring tape so hopefully I can get it around her um for long enough to take some somewhat accurate measurements and um I'll be able to cast it on soon okay so I did forget one thing um my Hufflepuff scarf where's my here it is so I made, I didn't make very much progress on this. I only made this much progress. Um, and I think the reason why I have not been working on this that much is because one, I've been really excited about this sweater. And two, I like, okay, let me show you. So this is knit with three cakes of yarn. Three cakes of yarn attached at once because it's knit um, helically. So I need like a flat surface to like have all the cakes organized and I can't do that when I'm in bed and I'm usually in bed for my lectures or just like when I'm watching TV or whatever and I can't I I just I've tried knitting this in bed and it has never worked out and my stuff always gets tangled it's always a mess it's way more frustrating than it's worth so I just leave it at my desk and I do it then like whenever I'm wa I'm like re-watching lecture videos or whatever um I'll just have like my study guide open in like 
the other half of my screen. I'll just have my study guide open in like the other half of my screen and I'll work on this like on the flat surface. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't get a lot done and I feel kind of bad because I have like the contrast colors already, the like nitpick stroll. Um, well they're not contrast colors. It's like the same color as like the, the dark, the darker stripes in this, but, um, they're supposed to like go on the ends. I'm going to pick these stitches up at the end, um, and knit like the ends and then like kind of do a like Kitchener stitch. I think it's Kitchener. Yeah. A Kitchener stitch, like bind off and like graph them together. So I don't have to do any ribbing. It's just straight stuck in it. And it's great because I love like, I don't know. I think I'm weird. Like I love just having that uninterrupted flow of knitting. I don't even need to look. There's nothing to pay attention to. I'm just like going at it and it's my favorite thing in the world. Okay. So there is one more thing that I want to show you that is not knitting. Um, it's actually my cross stitch. Um, I thought long and hard about showing cross stitch in my knitting podcast, but since I don't stitch very much, I don't really see the point of having both a knitting podcast and a floss tube at this current moment. So I'm just going to combine them for now. But I started on um, this. I started on my Heaven and Earth Designs, um, the Shell Maiden, the freebie version. Um, I got this much done. So this is um, like kind of the, this is like a big block of like pretty solid color. Um, this is 20 count Ada, easy count. And, um, I'm working in tent stitch, um, two threads. So I, um, I got a lot done in like not a very long amount of time, which is really nice. I am really loving like this half stitch life. Um, I really want to buy like more heaven and earth designs or just like more full coverage projects where I don't have to do full stitches. <laughs> I think that's like my favorite thing because I can just go row by row. I don't have to go back. There's no like trying to fit my needle through the hole when there's already three other like threads going through it. It's great. It's great. I love it. It is my favorite thing. Okay, so um, future plans for the next week. Um, I want to at least find a uh, pet sweater um, pattern and, um, get measurements of the cat, um, within the next week. Uh, I really want to like rewind the yarn for my Animal Crossing sweater and finish the yoke so I can separate out the sleeves for my purple haze sweater. Oh my gosh, I just realized, um, the Southwood sweater, the purple haze sweater has like, <laughs> the main color, the like knit crate color, um, the colorway is called haze and it like looks like a cloud or like fog because of the mohair. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even think of that. I didn't plan that. <laughs> um, I also want to, um, at least finish like that first color of my heaven and earth designs. Uh, last night I got 0.5% done um which is it does not feel like a lot but like so I work on my cross on like this cross stitch in pattern keeper um and like every time you complete like a stitch it tells you how many like stitches that you have completed um in the entire pattern out of the number of stitches that are in the pattern and then like a percent that like reflects that ratio and that percent is like what keeps me going every time I like hit I hit that little check mark in the app when I like completed a couple of rows I looked over at the percent and it went up each time and it just made me so happy it's like a dopamine machine that thing oh my gosh I 
love it so much and I can't wait to work on it more to kind of see it come to life. Um, I also want to work more on my Hufflepuff scarf. I think I'm going to start attending lecture on like my big computer like back here because usually I attend lecture and do most of my like schoolwork on my um, little Chromebook which like I can just do it in bed. I don't have to get up or do anything. Um, but since I am feeling better, I think I should just like start getting out of bed more and making more of a habit out of it before I have to go back out into the world. Oof, part of me like does not want to go back quite yet. I've kind of been enjoying being at home and just like being able to work out on my crafts. Um, but I know that like I can't sustain this forever. I need to go to work. I have to like make my clinical hours. <clears throat> I have to go to class like there's just no there's just no avoiding it which kind of sucks but yeah I'm just gonna like do lecture and do some more of my stuff on my big computer so that way I can work on my Hufflepuff sweater okay so that's all I have to show you guys for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next week Bye guys!